Hello, uh, my name is Real Blank Space. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, welcome. This is going to be a welcome to text-based roleplay and welcome to the Eternal City. Uh, I've created a character that's brand new and uh, we, we've had a couple of new people come in and say that where do we start? How do we begin to play this game? And after taking some time to, to talk to new people and old people, we started working on a list. Right? So when, when you first create a character, you end up in the game. So if you look, you see all this text. And you get overwhelmed. You're like, oh my goodness. There are some things that you, that you need to know. And we're going to start with some of the interactive things. So one of the first things you want to know, right, is where am I? Easy, again, you can type look, or you can just hit L. This shows you where you are. If you look over to the side here, you have a, a nice little interactive map you can click on. These things tell you more about your health, encumbrance, you know, how hungry you are. This is a, uh, non-interactive map that shows you a little bit about lighting and what's around you it can be kind of helpful but you start here all right well, what do i do well let's let's see what we got first thing in hand tells you what you have in your hands that is also shortened to i and h a lot of the things in uh, tec um, can be shortened down to two or three letters and to be safe, you usually want to try for three of that first command word you're looking for so that you get the right one. So I have a, I have a torch in my hand, uh, in my right hand, and nothing in my left. Um, so we've looked around. I got a torch. How about we move? You can type N for north. Now, as you look over here on the map, it's updated, right? But you can also, if you feel like taking the time, you're facing north. There's something to the north, something to the east, something to the west, um, and a gate to the south. So it they're there. But if you if you look over towards your map, it'll show you where you can go. And the really cool part about this client right here is just with one click, I've now moved in the game by clicking that. So we've, we've done some moving, we've looked around, we see this stuff here. Um, why am I carrying a torch? Uh, trying to figure out what's what else is going on in the environment around me. You can always use time. This is gonna tell you the time of day in the game. So it's very early, the pre-dawn hours of the 13th day of the Republic, the sun is set, there's no light. Um, so you, now you know what time of the day it is. Perhaps you want to know a little bit about the weather. It's partially cloudy. There's a nice uh, breeze in the air and it's cool. So we know what's in our hand. We know how to, to kind of look around. We type L here. There's all sorts of things to look at, right? Uh, if we look here, it says there's a, a chair and a chair and a constable. So if we're going to figure out how to look at them, the first one's easy, right? Look constable. That can be shortened to L con, right? So let's try look constable. This shows us the same thing as L con. They're both triggering the, the L, which happens to, you know, expand into look. Con is the first con around you. Now, Here's an interesting thing. There's a battered brown chair with countless streaks, and there's a wooden chair. So there are two chairs here. Now, let's say there's somebody sitting here in that first chair. So when you try to sit on that chair, it says, you know, there's somebody sitting here. How do I get myself to that next one? Well, there are two commands that I'm going to teach you here. The first one, right, is to look chair once we get done with this how do i see that next one so you can do what's known as a match this is going to tell you how many chairs are here match chair 
Chair one is this one, chair two is that one. Now, if I wanna sit chair, I sit on the first one. If I wanna sit on the second one, I would sit on the second chair. Apparently, you can't sit in this one, but uh, apparently I won't be able to sit uncomfortably on it. You're able to wear multiple sacks, wear multiple backpacks, and you'd be able to match them based upon their number or their description. So we've used match. We've learned how to, to look uh, and to look at things around us, right? One of the next thing I, I wanted to uh, talk about is I, you know, have I have things in my hand. Where what else do I have? Inventory is next. This will show you all of the things you're uh, wearing, holding, carrying, and what's in them. So by typing inventory or the shorter INV, you've got your breeches, your tunic, and inside of this large sack that I'm wearing, I have a knife, some rations and uh, a tin gladius, okay? Inventory shows you all the stuff. Now, what if I um, drop my torch? If I drop my torch, a little bit of lag today, uh, and I get my gladius, as you can see, I'm getting it from my large sack. I don't want to wield it, but I'm able to then get the torch. And if we use our in-hand command, we now see we have a gladius in our right hand and a torch in our left. So we have our inventory. We know what's in our hand. Um, now I got to put it away. But I've been walking around with my gladius. I did some stuff with it. I need to put gladius where? in my sack puts it right back into mine and if we look in inventory again it's back here if i get gladius right and then i type inventory i'm now putting it it's in my hand it's no longer in the sack so kind of uh, inventory allows you to check where things are now uh, thankfully, there's not a bunch of gladius here, but if there were, say there were more of them, you you would match it. The only one that you can find is in my hands. This character's name is Hinleek, and uh, he's got a tin gladius. So now we've gone over uh, a little bit of these interactive things. Let's say we head north here a little bit, a little west, northwest. You uh, want to start exploring the world and checking things out. Just north and northwest, as you just saw me go, is something called the, uh, the island. I believe it's called Signal Tower Island. And there, there are little critters that you can attack and beat up to gain skill points. Skill points and how combat and stuff like that works is going to be a uh, separate video. But for this video, I wanted to be able to show you how to look, see, get, put, things like that. And the last big one is wielding. Right now, I have a gladius and a torch in my hand, but I'm not wielding it. You can hold it in your hand, but you're not ready to actually attack with it until you start gripping it enough to attack, whether it's a, a spear, a dagger, whatever. And there is a difference between walking around with it and wielding it. As you see now, if we look in in hand, you are holding it, but and you are also wielding it. That means you're ready to actually attack with that weapon. Put the gladius back in my sack. Um, If we continue on this list right here of things that we need to know while we're waiting, um, uh, one of them is wealth. I've had people say, hey, 
I see that you are, I see that you are um, walking around, but I don't know where my money is. If you were to type wealth, you're carrying a total of nothing. I have no money. Let's look at this person. You know, look at her, and we're just gonna, I'm gonna nod. We're just nod. You nod. Good. Um. So you you've joined in the game. We're not gonna talk about role playing yet, but now you you should have at least a, a smaller or a better understanding of of the interactive things in TEC. Uh, you can check what's in your hand. You know how to get things, you know how to put them, um, and you know how to match them around. Looks like this person's going the same place I am, right? Um, there are some interactive things here. I could have, if I had gone just to the south, wait for fairy, but the fairy is already here. You can also wait for dock. It's going to have your character wait for the, the vessel to get to where it's going and your character will step off. Another um, important thing in the game is knowing how to do that. Cause sometimes uh, you might have to get up to, uh, to go uh, relieve yourself or grab something to eat. And you want your character to be able to continue what they're doing. Even if you're not right there, there are a couple more in the interactive. I wanted to talk about real quick. There is the um, passive, um, commands. The passive commands allow you to not get in trouble with uh, lawmakers or, or the uh, peacekeepers, if you will. Passive wield, right? If I spelled it correctly, if I spelled it correctly, command combat. I don't want to be passive. Shake at the lady. Uh, command. Sometimes you gotta go look them up. Oh, it's just one word. That's why. Passive wield. You will now stop wielding your weapon when told to do so. You also want to passive cover. If you happen to be wearing a helmet and you're walking around town, when a peacekeeper comes out and says, hey man, who are you? You just pick it up. Same for your weapons. Sometimes as a new player, you might be running around doing stuff and forget. That right there will have you unwield your weapons, not put them away if you're told to do so. Um, for somebody who may be watching on YouTube, uh, what I did was I actually just went into at commands and actually that's the entire list of commands. If you're looking to kind of search around, you can start here and as you can see, we made it to the ferry. So now my character has stepped off automatically. I didn't do anything there. You can type them in, or you can click the map here. As you see, it must be close to morning here. If you want some food, head upstairs diving. I've done a video on this. Uh, for anybody who is wondering how to get there from the toga, now you know. But the, the last thing I wanted to go over was the commands list, right? So as you, you see, there are actions, um, I combat, communication, inform, information, interactive, movement, and social, right? These are, they're there for you to peruse, 
but usually, as you saw, um, you'll use a couple of them very rarely so they're not right there on the tip of your tongue or your fingertips, if it will, but they can be helpful. Uh, little things like movement, we all know how to type W or West or South or South, North or N. But there are those interactive ones that at commands, interactive, that are sometimes good to know. Uh, you've got Neil, right? Uh, you can empty things, you can drag them, you can count how many, say, torches you've made, right? Um, so these are here. If you ever need to stop and check them out. Um, that being said, this is going to be kind of the end of the interactive clip. We wanted to talk about our inventory, INV, what's in our hands, INH and how do we uh, kind of put things around with our character now that they're new. Um, I hope it was helpful. That's gonna be the end of this video. And the next couple ones, we're gonna talk a little bit about both the information and the combat because a big part of TEC is uh, being able to learn and train and grow. So, um, if you have any questions, feel free to put those down below. Um, thanks for watching. And uh, we do have a Discord. So if there's any any more questions you may have about, you know, I, I had a Gladius. I don't know what I did with it, where it went. Um, feel free to check out the Discord link. It'll be down below. Uh, people are super helpful there in our community. And uh, I look forward to meeting you. If you are a new player wondering about how to be interacting with the glowing torch, your weapon, and those sort of things. I hope this was helpful. And I'll see you next time.